Hi there, my name is Hayden Falzon from FalzonFantasy.com and today we're going to be taking a look at how exactly to get a one-to-one -one color from Blender into Clip Studio Modeler because sometimes the colors don't exactly match and I want to highlight that to you now by showing you the Blender file that I got open here and the Clip Studio Modeler file. Now as you can notice the Blender file is a lot more saturated so that's what we're going to be looking at today and it shouldn't take too long at all. So as you can see from uh, these two separate models, the colors look a little bit different. Now on the blues and the greens, because their values are so high, it's not going to be too much of a difference. But really, this has got to do with a, a blender viewing uh, difference rather than a, uh, an error on Clip Studio Modeler's part. So all that you have to do to get a one-to-one -one is come into Blender and change the color management, which can be found under this DSLR camera menu, and change the display device to sRGB to none. So now let's take a look at that. See how they look essentially identical now? Now this pink is going to look a bit different than this pink just because of the background, and that's just an illusion. Uh, but I can assure you they're the same color. So. Essentially, it's got to do with the view information. Now, let's go into a bit more detail as to why this is important. This is important if you have a particular color that you are after, and then you start playing around with the values in Blender and you've got all your colors set up, and then you import it into Modeler, and then lo and behold, all the colors are completely wrong. And then you have to go back and change them, each individual color, it just messes things up. So always at the beginning, change your display device to none if you are working with Clip Studio Modeler, just because it will make the color information a one-to-one -one match. And that means you won't have to go back and change everything in Blender or heaven forbid, uh, the Clip Studio Modeler, because ah, I don't know, just changing the values in Clip Studio Model work can be at times a little bit frustrating compared to Blender. So I hope that this video has been able to help anyone that's run into a problem like this. If it has, leave a like and a message below saying it's helped. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell button to be notified on a new video's release. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Hayden Falzon from FalzonFantasy.com, signing off.